Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to control your computer with local artificial intelligence. So no chat GPT-5 needed. So no subscription, no internet, no cloud. This is a local uh, file and uh, we will see a little demo uh, on how you can manipulate your files uh, with the artificial intelligence and uh, yeah let's try uh, so uh, we try to do an edit so we will see uh, how an uh, interface for the artificial intelligence can uh, interact uh, with uh, your computer and uh, as you can see uh, here are the cores that uh, uh, starts uh, to compute and uh, here we have uh, our agent the Linux expert we can have uh, multiple agents and this is the Linux expert and uh, now we can uh, decide to apply the command that uh, it uh, suggested or not uh, I decided to uh, give a confirmation but uh, if you are brave <laughs> you can uh, have automatic confirmation on commands so I press play so it uh, executes the command okay and uh, now we can check uh, the file again and uh, I, as you can see we don't have uh, uh, onions anymore so it uh, uh, executed the uh, prompt as asked like this and uh, this is a, a trivial example but uh, it is very powerful because uh, if you use um, uh, a strong uh, uh, artificial intelligence you can uh, interact uh, in a, a very advanced uh, way uh, with uh, your computer or with the uh, internet here we have uh, uh, some use cases so I have uh, a Linux expert agent that uh, it uh, translates uh, a sentence in Linux command to interact uh, with the system then I have uh, a, a general agent so the, the normal assistant and then I have uh, an English uh, corrector so if I write uh, a sentence uh, in English that uh, it isn't uh, uh, correct so I wrote uh, I want to burn a candle and uh, it uh, suggested a more um, idiomatic English sentence so I want to light a candle so you, you can have uh, uh, multiple uh, agents with uh, different prompts so the uh, Linux agent uh, if I go to uh, here this is the Linux agent and uh, this is uh, the prompt so it's uh, quite easy here prompts you are a Linux GNOME ex uh, expert you convert sentences in Linux commands so you don't have uh, specify every time that uh, uh, you are using Linux so for instance uh, if you write uh, to the Linux agent uh, enabled the standby mode it suggests uh, different commands so uh, systemctl suspend and so on uh, if you use it uh, as English corrector it gives you the uh, feedback on what you wrote so you don't have to manually specify every time uh, the, the context and uh, it, uh, it can also uh, connect to internet so it is a, a local artificial intelligence so the compute is done locally 
but uh, sometimes you need uh, fresh information. So if you write uh, a search for the current uh, stable Linux kernel version, uh, you can uh, enable the uh, web search. And if you enable the web search, it uh, uh, take uh, the data uh, from uh, internet and from this context uh, it is able to uh, get uh, fresh information so this is the date and this is the current uh, Linux uh, version so you decide when the artificial intelligence uh, can access uh, uh, to internet or not uh, this is done uh, with uh, an interesting tech stack. So uh, we have a model and uh, I'm using Quen free uh, 4 billion parameters. And uh, I think uh, this model is uh, very good and uh, it is also uh, quite small. I'm using this one, Q5 uh, KM but uh, it depends on your hardware and uh, how much uh, free RAM uh, you have. So you need uh, an IE model, uh, then you need a web interface or a native interface that expose uh, the feature of your operating system to the artificial intelligence. So this is uh, Newell that uh, it uh, expose uh, the uh, file system to the artificial intelligence and also many other things. So let's see uh, this component. If we go to uh, settings, we can use uh, uh, this uh, um, artificial intelligence interface with uh, many uh, open source, local or cloud artificial intelligence. And um, here you have a demo API from uh, Newell. But um, if you want to use a local artificial intelligence, my advice is to use uh, Olama. So with the Olama, you can pick this uh, local model. Or if you have uh, a more powerful computer in your local area network LAN. You can choose this one. So you can uh, put here the OpenAI uh, compatible endpoint. So this is a, a local uh, internet address with the, the ports 11.434. And then you can uh, specify here the model that you are going uh, to use or if you use uh, LM Studio, another um, uh, tool or another API, you can uh, specify a custom API here. So um, if you don't know uh, what Olama is, if you go to olama.com here you can download uh, the model that uh, you prefer and for uh, this uh, use case uh, you have to use uh, a model with uh, tool support which is used uh, um, here in the chat. So uh, here you can enable uh, auto run commands if you are <laughs> brave. I Maybe I prefer to not uh, run uh, bright commands uh, automatically, but uh, it's fine that uh, I can uh, read the files uh, without uh, confirmation. It, it depends on your use case. Here you can add uh, uh, your knowledge. So if you want to add uh, your documents, uh, you can uh, explore this part. And uh, you can also integrate uh, uh, text-to-speech uh, programs and the speech-to-text uh, programs. So here, by default, it uses uh, uh, Google speech recognition, but you can also use uh, uh, Whisper, which is a local uh, 
um, speech to text uh, component and uh, yeah this is uh, uh, how you can already use uh, your linux uh, computer with the local artificial intelligence let me know in the comments uh, uh, if uh, you will use uh, this kind of uh, technology and uh, let's uh, end the video with uh, some benchmarks and the performance uh, this uh, depends on your hardware and also on the model that you chose uh, these are my benchmark so i tried with um, small and uh, big context uh, this is uh, quen free for b uh, 2507 and uh, this is uh, um, 16.9 token per second but um, this was a very short response when you use it with the bigger uh, input tokens so the prompt to your data or with the big uh, output tokens so with the big uh, responses the performance uh, can uh, be very different so uh, beware of that and uh, if you see uh, the other models that uh, I tested, so um, I have also uh, GPT OS 20B and uh, with uh, 20K um, input tokens, I have uh, more or less uh, the same uh, performance of uh, Quen 3 uh, 4B but um, yeah uh, you you have to test on your use case so um, these are my results and let me know in the comments if you have uh, more powerful hardware to to run it that's it leave the, a like if you found this video useful and see you in another one bye